Hi guys, Baron D here. Today we'll be talking about CTA. Um, this season, this time around, the event is Garandard Vile. You can see it here uh, in your um, queues. So why am I so adamant about CTA? Um, it potentially has the best in slot. It's not appearing over there. That's okay. Best in slot weapons, uh, f if not for DPS, at least for the support class. Um, the reason I say that now is because in mod 17, you can actually get this pre mod 17. What I'm referring to is uh, the mighty set. Actually, I think I better just show it to you here. So this is for my fighter. Um, if you hover over over all over it you will not be able to see the kind of like the set bonus or at least you can now that's weird oh maybe because i have it i don't know anyway you can see there um if you have two of the set main hand offhand you can get one percent outgoing damage plus one percent outgoing healing Minus 1% incoming damage and it sacks up to 5 times. Oh, okay, they, they fixed that. I guess um, since I <laughs> played yesterday, they fixed it. Or maybe I just didn't notice it until now. Um, anyway, so CTA. The way it works. And as you can see the uh, from the green bar there, I did too already. And as you hover all over it, hover over it's like a tongue twister hover over it it will tell you how many CTAs you've done for the day so you see there 2 out of 10 it will grant completing all 10 will grant you one token of heroes and the token of heroes is this basically I got one so far because I did 10 yesterday so I need six to get the main hand and six to get the off hand so just quick math there <laughs> um, in one season or one event CTA event you can only do uh, you can only get three I was gonna go like that three so um, I'm just gonna queue while we talk oh that didn't take too long um, my advice, if you want to do this, don't do it solo. I tried doing it solo at my level. It scaled down to 6,400. And yeah, I mean, I could finish it, but it'll probably take me 20, 30 minutes to do it. So I'm not going to do that. Um, just do it, if, uh, so, uh, do it with a party. Um, it doesn't actually matter if they're good or not. The numbers are there. Just so that if you go down or something, the thing doesn't end. I don't think I've ever failed this, <laughs> or if even you could fail this uh, skirmish, I guess. Uh, but anyway, the, no, the more people you have, the better it is. And for some reason, lower level players aren't scaled. Um, in this instance, it's only the like high level tiered, uh, level 80. Yeah, if somebody's down just you don't really need to pick them up you can just revive them um, res sickness is stacked now it's not a flat 10% it's stacks like up to five times so there's like 10% per stack that's like 50% of your stats reduced at five stacks so it's actually advisable just to like release anyway going back to CTA you do 10 of these CDAs, uh, you get one hero's coin, and this is the and this is key. You can only get three token of heroes per event, per tune. And even though previously, like the previous CDAs prior to mod 17's CDA, you could actually buy the offhand uh, off of a different class. It will not be bound. But they changed that. They changed that to bound upon pickup now so it's bound to character which means that you will need if you haven't started this CDA in the previous like seasons uh, like last year then you will have to do at least what is it four CTAs four separate CTAs in order to get both 
off hands and main hands for your particular tune so I'm doing this on all of four of my tunes that I play out of like the 30 plus that I have so um, yeah especially for my OP and DC those two are the support classes I do heal on those uh, I don't really I mean I could tank on my OP but I tank mostly on my fighter if you know if you know me um, so um, the other question well this boss is gonna like die soon um, the real question is do I need or do you would you need a mighty set now um, I would say not really I mean the the set bonus is sweet especially for support classes because it doesn't affect just you it actually affects everyone in your party so basically for say Tower of Mad Mage runners right which will be released I like as of this video tomorrow at uh, reset I believe um, you will oh, did I get something you will give your party members plus five percent outgoing damage plus four five percent outgoing heals minus five percent damage you know that that and if one person in your party of the two parties that are in the tower of mad mage has one that means that would be five percent more outgoing damage outgoing healing neg negative uh, defense you know the de negative damage taken which is great so if at least one person has it it'll be great um, unfortunately as I said it will take you four weeks if you're gonna do it from scratch which means those who have had it from like previous CDAs great I mean I know I can get a main hand for my OP and my DC uh, this event but I'll still need two weeks or sorry I'll still need two events more in order to get my offhand so I don't know by that time probably something of a similar set bonus what I mean is like a stronghold uh, weapon sets uh, masterworks uh, weapon set with the increased damage and outgoing heals might, might have uh, come out by then who knows but I mean if you want to be safe I guess you could just try to go and get it um, I'm just I've got collections here because I wanted to show you the lion hearts I mean you can just control J yourself and find out where is it where is it is it this uh, yeah right you see it's only a stamina okay I'll go healing when your stamina is full okay they upgraded this as well I mean that does say I'll go heal but that is solo as in the individual it doesn't actually affect the party and I mean like I said Tower of Mad Mage is gonna be released tomorrow who knows how many people will actually get this drop I mean there's the long-winded way which is to get like the, the currency and then buy it off the NPC so that will be several uh, Tom runs anyway um, so yeah for right now that's the kind of like uh, best you know in slot to get for support roles I would say um, like DPSers they can go ham and kind of like try to get the top you know min max damage possible like the Lionheart set like as uh, like I said previously but if at least one person in the team of uh, sorry five has a uh, not what you said sorry sniveling I'm a bit sick um, if at least one person has the mighty set it would be great for everybody like in the party so anyway that's it from me uh thanks for watching and peace